Miami Dolphins, what am I going to do with you? Honestly, what am I going to do with you? Seriously. You think that last week, or do you think that two weeks ago, wasn't that brutally honest? You think that, oh, you think that was just the tip of the iceberg? But after that performance from last night's Monday night football game, yeah, a Monday night football game in front of millions of people, yeah, that will have more viewers than Monday Night Raw, but I'm not going to lie to you, Monday Night Raw was good last night. Not gonna, I'm not going to lie to you, but uh, that's for another video. I'm going to talk about that. But I'm going to stick with this, and I'm going to have a word with you, Miami Dolphins. And oh boy, trust me, I'm going to be brutally honest, front and center. You know, I've been trying to give Miami a couple of breaks for a couple of screw-ups that happened in the past few weeks. Two weeks ago, like I mentioned, it was fucking brutal. And I told them to get their fucking act together. To get their fucking shit together. Then last week when they played against Oakland, I was hoping, I was hoping that, oh shit, like they could pull this off, they could pull this off. But no, they just gotta run the fucking clock. Just run that fucking clock. I mean, we're playing against a mediocre team. I mean, we're a mediocre team. Hoping, hoping and praying that we pull off a miracle and rise to the occasion. But we didn't because, hey, time constraints. Time constraints. But now, I feel like that the third time, a.k.a. last night against Carolina, I mean, I thought we almost had this in the bag, but boy, we were wrong. And Carolina has the home field advantage, so I, I mean, I'm guessing that we're fucked. And boy, was I right. Boy, was I fucking right that we were fucked. That we were fucked by the time that we traded Jay Highly for a fourth round draft pick. Yeah, we traded Jay Halai for a fourth round draft pick, which is practically fucking nothing. We traded away one of the most, the most, sorry, just trying to keep my act together. Like, we traded one of the best running backs in the league in exchange for basically, practically nothing. We traded Jay Halai for basically, practically nothing. What was the mindset in all of this? Seriously, what was the mindset in trading one of the best running backs that we have in exchange for a fourth round draft pick? We couldn't have traded for something else. I mean, couldn't we get like a, a first round draft pick? A second round? A third round, I don't know, give or take, you know, a first or second, I mean, we, we would we would love to have that, but a fourth round pick? A fourth round pick? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, you think that, oh, like, we traded one of the be one of our best running backs here and, and exchange for practically nothing, but hey, we might get something good. You must be out of your fucking mind. You out of your fucking fucking mind seriously you are out of your fucking mind for you to think that oh we're gonna trade our running back in exchange for nothing we could have traded for jay cutler to get something else i mean something that is just decent at best but no we just got to keep the experiment going which i'm sure it's gonna crash and burn anyway which i know it did but it's just gonna be dragging this further come on Oh, let's push Matt Moore into the side. Like, let's push him aside. Like, no, no, go there. Like, go look at that corner. Go look in that corner for just no reason. And we're going to keep going with this Jay Cutler experiment because, hey, Adam Gaze. I mean, yeah, Adam Gaze think that, oh, it's going to work. He's going to turn out. Things are going to be different. I mean, you go, I mean, you will hate him. And you go back to liking him. And you go back to hating him. And you go back to liking him. And then you go back to hating him and just try to forget about the fact that what he on why he did in the first place. Or practically like trying to forget what how how you saw it in the first place. I don't know. Ah 
I gotta get my point across here, but let's get to the management. I really want to rip the management here. Like seriously. So ever since we got rid of Jay got rid of Jeff Ireland, thank God that he's a fucking piece of garbage. I'm a general manager. Let's see what we got here. Let me take a look here. Miami Dolphins. No Wikipedia here. I'm gonna look at this shit right now. Who is the the general manager of this? Chris Greer. He became the new general manager. His past experience in the personnel department of the nuclear of the sorry nuclear New England Patriots. I apologize for that. I kind of screwed that up. Let's see here. He was the director of college scouting, and now he became a GM. And what the fuck is going on? I mean, Greer. Greer, what the hell are you doing? What was going on in your head when you decided to trade Jay Highlight? Was it Adam Gazy's suggestion? Because it was his suggestion. He, he, he fucked up. You know what you fucked up. And to the chairman, to the chairman, Stephen M. Ross. Ross, what are you doing? What are you doing to the Dolphins franchise? What the hell are you doing to the team? I mean, what was going on in your head? What the hell is going on in your freaking head? Like, in all seriousness, why are you not giving us a good football team? Seriously, why are you not giving us a good football team that you can make this city proud? Why are you not giving us a good football team just like the University of Miami Hurricanes that are kicking ass and taking names? The U is back and they're pulling out the turnover chain and they're rocking the turnover chain like it's nothing. Like it's the brand new style. It's the, the turnover chain is the brand new fashion in the city of Miami, all thanks to the Miami Hurricanes pulling off win after 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 win. Nine and fucking up. Nine and oh, and I'm proud of you guys for kicking ass and taking aims. But as for you, Miami Dolphins, you have just failed us for the third time. For the third fucking time. The first time it was more embarrassing. The second time, I mean, you tried. You basically tried. To be, to be fair, I'll give you, you tried. You basically tried. But the third, oh, it was a fucking joke. Adam Gaze, he pull off the same, the same strategy over and over and over again. And there was no offensive line there. No offensive line. To the point where it's so fucking predictable. Where, like, Cam Newton would just break it down and just tear it to shreds. Time and time and time again. For the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time. For, for the whole time, for a lifetime. They rule Adam Gazer like he was the fucking genius that won a Nobel Prize, and yet this is the best he can come up with? Is this really your best foot forward? I'm putting Jay Cutler. You didn't even discipline anybody. You were so mad at the fucking team after what happened in Baltimore, but yet you haven't disciplined them? You couldn't even snap? You couldn't even yell them to their fucking skulls and say, Hey! You fucked up! What you did, you embarrassed our city? You embarrassed me, you embarrassed your fans, you embarrassed the whole organization, and you embarrassed your city. You made fools out of yourselves. Straighten up. Do your fucking job. Win. Make your city proud. And if you don't, we have other players who will. And you, and he would have like... Have a long word with Jay Cutler. And tell him, hey, if you don't get your fucking shit together, that experiment, huh, you're fucking gone. 
You're out. We might find a new quarterback that's going to go out there and kick ass. They know how to throw blitzes like it's going out of style. Like a Matt Moore. Yeah, when Ryan Tannehill was out, when Tannehill was out for the rest of the season with an injury, with an ACL nonetheless, I felt that moment of uncertainty. I felt that moment of uncertainty. And who do we get? Jay Cutler! Who used to play for the fucking Bears. A mediocre team. One of the just the lousiest teams in the NFL. And we get him. Why? Because Adam Gazy has history with him? Yeah. Yeah. And you fucked that up. You fucked it up by bringing him in and hoping that the experiment is going to go well. Now you hope the experiment is going to go fucking well. And, oh, okay, okay, who was that offensive coordinator here? I'm trying to remember who it is. Let me see right here. The dude that snorts fucking cocaine here. I swear to God. The offensive coordinator. The offensive coordinator. Let's see. Offensive. Offensive line coach that snorts here. Oh, Chris Forrester. The offensive line coordinator. The same guy who snorts fucking coke in front of a live stream. Who snorts fucking coke in front of a live stream. Eh, you couldn't get any good offensive lines, but the only offensive line you use so far is fucking snorting. He's snoring that nose candy. He's snoring that snow, huh? What do you think, you're Dr. Roxo, the rock and roll clown? That he loves cooking! <laughs> Dude, the more you snort that shit, the more it's gonna fuck up your head. And the more it's gonna fuck up your head, the more it's gonna fuck up your heart. I bet they fired you. No, let me see here. Let me see your status. Let's see, did they fired you? Oh, you basically resigned after the video was after the video. So you basically <laughs> you basically resigned. Yeah, snorting coke. Dude, must be at your goddamn fucking mind, snorting coke. What do you think it's gonna give you an extra boost? Huh? It'll fuck up your nose. And a chick? Yeah, and a chick that exposed you? <laughs> wow, you done fucked up. More as the organization fucked up. It's becoming more of a shit show that people are starting to laugh at. Stephen Ross, oh, I haven't gone back to you. You're more worried about, yeah, building to renovate that new stadium. You want, you're want you worried about making this a new stadium, you know? And that's fine that you wanted to build a new stadium that you could help out this city to make this to be a great venue for all events. But you don't want to help us out by giving us a good football team. Why is that? Because you're too content. You're too content to throwing your shit down. You're too content to smell your own shit and realize that, oh my god, I gotta make some changes. I gotta help the city out. But no, you're focusing on mingling out with celebrities and helping out your helping out the city to build a new foot to build a brand new football team. For the better. For the future. And look at the University of Miami Hurricanes. They're selling out like hotcakes. Not a single empty seat to be found during those games at Hot Rock Stadium. The new renovated stadium that that you were hoping that the city of Miami would, would help out. And you got it right the first, I mean, you got it right the second time after you insisted that like the whole city would pay for it and the state didn't pass it. So you think, oh wait, I'll put in my Hefner and they'll do it. And they did so. Year and a half later, hey, you got your wish. You got your brand new Hard Rock Stadium. Actually, it's renovated, looking all good, looking all nice. Yeah, and it does need some, and it does need improvements. That being said, I don't know what to do with you. Honestly, I don't even know what to do with you. In short, 
The team is a is a it's just a walking talking fire train wreck. I mean a dumpster fire. We had a offensive line coordinator who's basically snorting coke and has to force out Adam Gazy just being out of his fucking mind and trying to keep dragging on this Jay Cutler experiment even further. And you have a fucking owner who's too content on helping your own on helping his own team for the sake of the city. Wow. And again, University of Miami, University of Miami Hurricanes football team. Yeah, that program is making big numbers right now. And the U is back. I wonder why. Because they got good coaching. They got good they got good players. And they're building an identity once more. They're bringing back the U since back in their 80s and the early 2000s. But as you, the Miami Dolphins, you've gone from a top-tier team in the league to one of the biggest mediocre laughing stocks in the past 12 years. By one miracle, we won that AFC East division title back in 2008 and got us back into the playoffs. It was a fucking miracle. It was so awesome. Last year, we pulled off a miracle. We made it to the playoffs on Christmas Day. And we got ourselves into the playoffs on Christmas Day. And hoping that we're going to do that again. Hoping that we get back into the wild card once more. Boy, was I wrong this year. Boy, was I fucking wrong this year. And the words of Angry Joe, you know, you're fucked up. Get your fucking shit together, or I will never see you the same ever again. Get your fucking shit together. It's Stephen Ross. You incompetent old bastard. You better get your fucking shit together. And if you don't, fuck off and go fuck yourself. End of rant. I'm out.